the range with the macro pistol with the soft point ammo that I use for defense. I'll just run a little informal bill drill on the C-Zone steel here. Alright guys, so um, double the distance of a standard bill drill, actually more than that. Uh, and without the sling, all hits are on. 205 for the time there. Could I have picked up time there? Absolutely, because uh, that presentation was 105, and it's very easy to get in the 0.6 range with this gun. But keeping that leisurely pace, you can see that, okay, so what's the case for this macro pistol? Well, it's more concealable than a braced macro pistol or a short barreled carbine. Um, just by virtue of being slick and it far outperforms like double the performance of your best most gamered out carry pistol so without a brace and without a sling still far outperforms a traditional handgun when we think about a holstered concealed carry handgun i've just got a few more rounds left here let's run one with a sling though More than double the distance of a standard bill drill. Uh, still a pistol, macro pistol. 171 clean, guys. Uh, so there's your benefit. Massively more, uh, massively more capability than anything that you could possibly carry in a holster on your waist. Um, almost, almost the full capability of a stocked SBR but in a package that is much easier to get in and out of a bag much easier and much more fluid to flow around complex structures right you're shouldered in here on, a, on an SBR or maybe you're breaking some rules and you're doing that no no thing with your brace uh, well it's still slower to get around corners and to keep a dot in the window when you are having to lower your head to a tube. When you free yourself uh, from that shouldered chest mount, chest weld position, and you go strictly to a cheek weld, guys, I can keep the dot very fluidly even when I lower the gun. Even right here, I can just move my eyes downward and I still see the dot out of my peripheral vision. So when I drive on target, guys, for me, that is much faster than I can get on target for first shot at any distance than I can when I do a traditional stocked presentation, putting it against my chest or against my shoulder. I want you guys to put this into defensive context. That first shot, that first hit, that's the most important one. That's the game changer. Can I still achieve sub 0.2 splits with this gun on C-Zone targets at 20 yards? Yeah, I just did. Um, splits there, 0.18, 0.15, 0.14, 0.15, 0.14. Weigh that against what you're actually getting out of your stock or your brace. Look at the cons. If nothing else, guys, I just want you to realize that this firing position is absolutely stable enough to make rapid, precise, repeatable shots from. You can also make rapid, precise follow-up shots from it. As long as you give it a chance, do some training, use the proper technique. For all the new subscribers, uh, all the folks who have sent me the wave of comments and questions, thank you. You guys rock. I promise you I'll get to your questions. We'll do more videos on that. 
Um, gave me some time though. We're right in the middle of back to back to back to back classes. Um, and also we have some spots open in all of those classes. So go onto the website, check that out. Uh, come get some training with me. Let's, uh, let's get better together. Thank you.